All right, boys and girls, we're going to get going with a math lesson for today. Uh, today, I want to practice with you doing some math. So what you're going to need today is you're going to need a piece of paper, a notebook, and a pencil so you're ready to work some problems with me in this lesson, okay? Um, during the lesson, I'm going to ask you to press pause so that you can do some work and then press play when you're ready to check and continue. Today we're going to be working on two things. Today I can tell time on the clock to the nearest minute. So I can tell the hour and then I can write the minutes um, to tell the time. And then I'm also going to work on something new today. Um, today I'm going to find elapsed time. Um, elapsed time is how much time has passed um, to get to another time. So we're going to be taking a look at that today. All right, so let's review. Um, I want you to look at this clock right here, and I want you to write down on your paper how much time you see on the clock. So remember our steps. First, we're going to look at the short hour hand, which I see right here. I'm going to write the hour, and then I'm going to look at the long minute hand and count by five. Um, now, I'm going to also have to count on by ones here to get the exact time. So take a second, press pause, and I want you to see if you can tell the time on the clock. All right, you should have gotten that the hour is on the 8 because I see the short hour hand if I were to go and draw a line here. It is past the 8, but it's not quite on the 9 yet, so the hour is still 8. Step 2, I'm going to look at the long minute hand and count by 5. If I start at the 12, I know that's 0, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and then I got to count by ones, 36, 37. So you should have wrote down that the time is 8.37. All right, let's go ahead and move on to elapsed time. To find that, we're going to be finding the time shown on the clocks, and then we'll decide how much time has passed between them. So our first clock, I just used the same clock that we um, just used, which is 837, and now we have another clock that we need to find the time on. So I want you to pause the screen and write down what time is shown on this clock right here. All right, so on this clock, I'm going to use my same step. Step one, look at the short hour hand. I see that it is just past the 10, so I know the hour is going to be 10. And I'm going to also count my minutes by 5, so 5, 10, 15. So I know the time is 10, 15. All right, boys and girls, so here is our lesson for today. So make sure that you are paying close attention and you are ready to listen and follow directions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using a number line today um, to figure out how much time has passed between 8.37 and 10.15. This is good because I might add a story to it, like Miss Miracle went to a party at 8.37, and she left the party at 10.15. So I'm going to figure out how much time did she spend at the party. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my starting time at the beginning of my number line here, 837, and I'm going to put the ending time, 1015, at the very end of the number line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be figuring out how much time has passed. So I'm at 837, and I might ask myself, hmm, what would be a good jump um, to get to a good friendly number? Hmm, what do you think? I was thinking 37 minutes, that's close to a friendly 10, 8, 40. So what I could do is I could jump 38, 39, 40, that's three minutes. And if I jump three minutes, where would I land? I would land at 840. So now I'm at 840, that's a friendly number. Hmm, 840, how many more minutes would I need to get to the next hour? I know the next hour is going to be 9, and I could jump 20 minutes because 40 minutes plus 20 minutes makes 60 minutes. And 60 minutes will put me at the next hour, which is nine o'clock. All right, so now I'm at nine. Well, I have to make it to at least 10, so I think maybe I could jump from nine o'clock to 10 o'clock. And I know to nine to 10, that's one whole hour. So I would add one hour to my jump here, and that would put me at 10 o'clock. Now, once I'm at 10 o'clock, I have to make it at 10.15, so that's a pretty easy jump. How many minutes would that be? Yeah, I would have to add 15 more minutes. So I have figured out how to get there, but now I have to put all of my time jumps together to figure out how much time had passed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all of my minutes up here. So I have 20 minutes 
plus 15 minutes. Well, that puts me at hmm, 35 minutes. And then I'm going to add three more, 36, 37, 38. So that's 38 minutes, and I'm going to put it with an hour. So my total time, how much did we jump, is one hour plus 38 minutes, which is one hour and 38 minutes total. So our elapsed time would be one hour and 38 minutes. All right, so what I want you to do now is I want you to get ready to try this next one with me. So have your paper and pencil ready to go. All right, so I'm trying to figure out, and I'm sorry my bar is in the way down there in my video, um, what would be a good jump from 225? Um, I'm thinking, hmm, it's already a multiple of five, so how many minutes would it take to get to three o'clock? Hmm, what could we do there? 25 plus how many minutes would get to 3 o'clock? Well, if I look at this clock right here, it's showing me 25, right? How would I make it to the next o'clock? Let's count our five minutes. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So why don't we do a 35-minute jump and get to 3 o'clock? So let's make a jump on our number line here, and we're going to be landing at 3 o'clock. So plus 35 minutes will put us at 3 o'clock. All right, so I'm at 3 o'clock. Hmm, i got to make it to 4.32, so what would be a good jump? I could go from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock, and that would be one hour. So let's make another jump, and let's label this one hour, and we are going to land at 4 o'clock. Well, if I'm at 4 o'clock, how would I make it to 4.32? How many minutes would I need to add? Well, right now I have zero minutes. If I add 32 minutes, I'll be at 4.32. So let's make that final jump to get 4.32. All right, so we need to add all of our jumps together to figure out how much time has passed. So let's take a look at what we're going to do here. So we're going to figure out how much did we jump. So first I'm gonna add my minutes together. So I have 35 minutes from our first jump and 32 minutes over here from this jump. If I add 35 plus 32, I know 30 and 30 make 60, and five and five make seven, so that's 67 minutes. Hmm. But what do I know about minutes? How many minutes make one hour? You're right, 60 minutes makes one hour. So let's take those 60 minutes and turn it into an hour. 67 minutes would be one hour, because that's 60, and seven minutes. So now we have one hour and seven minutes from 35 and 32 minutes. Now we're going to have to add on that additional hour we jumped right here. So that would be one hour and seven minutes plus another hour makes two hours and seven minutes. So the elapsed time from 225 to 432 is two hours and seven minutes. All right, boys and girls, I would like for you to try this one on your own. Um, so what I would like for you to do, we're going to do two steps. We're first going to determine the times on the clock. So I want you to draw your number line, and I would like for you to write the start time from the first clock here as your start time. And then I would like you to figure out the end time and write it at the end mark right here. So I'd like you to pause your video for a second, and I would like for you to draw your number line and write the start and the end time for me. Okay, go ahead and do that now. All right, good job. So on your number line, you should have determined that the start time is 743 because the short hour hand is past the seven, but not on the eight yet. So the hour is seven and the minute hand. Well, I know that the minutes at the here is 30. So I'm gonna start there, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43. So my start time is 743. You should have got that your end time, the short hour hand is right at the 11. So the hour is 11, and then I'm going to do my minutes. So 5, 6, 7, 8. So my end time is going to be 11.08. So what I would like for you to do right now is I want you to think about the types of jumps that you would make to get from 7.43 to 11.08. And there are a lot of different jumps that you could make. When you are done, um, I would like for you to unpause your video and I want you to check um, my work that I have posted um, for the correct answer. Your jumps might look different than mine because there's a lot of different ways that you could figure this out. But your answer should be the same. Okay, so I want you to pause the video now.
and I want you to figure out what is the elapsed time from 7.43 to 11.08. All right, are you ready to check? All right, so my work for this problem looked like this on my paper. I started at 743, and I thought, hmm, 43 is not really a friendly number. I want to make it friendly, so I did plus 7. 7 minutes puts me at 750, hmm, and then I can make it to 8 really easy by doing a 10-minute jump there. Then I got to make it all the way to 11, so 8 o'clock to 11, so let's see, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, that's 3 hours that I had to jump right here to get to 11 o'clock. Then, how do I get from 11 to 11.08? I did 8 minutes there. Um, so again, your jumps might look different as long as when we put them together, we get the same answer. So first I added all my minutes, 7 plus 10 is 17 plus eight more makes 25. So you have 25 minutes there. And then we have to put it with our hours. So we had three hours, three hours plus 25 minutes makes a total of three hours and 25 minutes for your answer. So today I want you to practice using our number line strategy to start working on the elapsed time for some problems today that you will find in your assignment. All right, very good job boys and girls. I hope that you are sort of getting the hang of this number line and elapsed time. Elapsed time is very real life. Um, this is a skill that you have to be able to do in your life as you are growing up. So make sure that you are focused and trying to practice this new skill today. Uh, we'll continue to practice it tomorrow as well. All right, good luck. And if you have questions, please come find me or your teacher. Adios.